Hey y'all, it's your girl, Miss Nikia Sheree. And you know I'm back today with another video. And this video is gonna be another military spouse rant. A military wife rant, whatever you wanna call it. Yes, honey, it's this type of video. That's why I got my arm and green on. Cause you know it's gonna be that type of rant. But anyway, let's, let's start with like, So I was on this wives page and i was just reading you know some of the stuff that was going on so this one was asking for advice to whether or not she should go tell the commander about her husband cheating on her or whatever and what she should do you know with a cheating spouse and let me tell you all the military wives gang up on and gang up on and gang up on no you should not do that why would you go and tell you know the commander about his job like why would you go and ruin his job like you won't go to mcdonald's and tell your husband's manager that he's cheating on you the people at the mcdonald's gonna look the other way yes that's fine and then that's true but my thing is he should pay for what he has done he should pay y'all let these men get get away with every goddamn little thing and then no why would you ruin his job why would you ruin his job he ruined his damn job he knew what he was doing before he did the shit so, so stop Coming to a wife, telling her what she should not do. Yes, it's okay to give you give your honest opinion, but just because it did not work for your friend Betsy, don't mean it's not gonna work for Anne. Don't care. Some of your man, um, your some of your husband's company will just be spiteful and will do dirty ass shit. Now they can, you know. Get on your hood. They can do anything. You know what I'm saying? They could be spiteful. Let me tell you like this. Every company in the military is different. So just because that company or whatever command your husband under didn't do nothing right, don't mean that this one's not. So you can't go and tell another woman, stop running your mouth. No, be quiet. Don't go tell this. Don't go tell that. While her husband's sitting, the end, sitting up there cheating. She at home taking care of the kids, cleaning, washing dishes, washing his damn dirty ass drawers. Well, yes, washing his drawers, working, do whatever she can to take care of the house and his ass got the nerve to go creep, creep, creep. He got the right one. Because me, I don't play that shit. I don't play that shit. I let my husband know. Let me know when, when you want to go. Let me know when you want to go. My thing is, he should. he deserve to get taken everything from because they don't play that shit. They really don't play that shit in the army. They're, they're not supposed to play it anyway. And y'all sitting up here telling her, though, why you go run your mouth? Like, why would you go to this command? Just go to the thing, go go divorce him. Just divorce him if that's how you feel. Like, what? Bitch, what? Bitch, what? My thing is, how you gonna tell her what she needs to do? Because nine times out of ten, you gonna probably do the same thing that you telling her that she should not do. Just because it did not work for you doesn't mean it's not going to work for another girl. Let me tell y'all something, women. Don't, yes, we work our ass off to support our husbands. But don't forget about you and your self-worth. Don't let your husband think that he could get away with some shit. You sitting up here putting your goals and your life on hold to be here to support him. And him going and do, you know, doing this military-ish. It's already hard enough for us as it is to put our life on the back burner. And you cannot put your life on the back burner, honey. You got to keep control. You got to keep trucking. And that's what I'm going to do. I was just reading her her testimony and how she was, she was going through and just reading it. And all these other wives are coming to her like it ain't no problem. That's why I said, I I'm, I'm, thank God. My marriage is not perfect, but I thank God. I thank God that my husband is so supportive. And everything I do. He don't want me to sit around the house. He don't want me to do nothing like that. He want me to go and get it. He want me to go get it. Because my thing is, one of you and your husband don't work out in the military and he leave you with shit. Then what? You got to have something to fall back on. You know what I'm saying? And it's different ways you can tell a wife advice without coming at her like that. Some of these wives don't see how it makes the other woman feel for them to come at her like that. I mean, it was all up on her. Why would you go do that? You want to take your ass to Wendy's and tell his manager that he cheated? You had to just deal with that shit. Why would you go and do that? Why would you? My thing is, why do you do the stuff that you do? You sit here telling out this woman and she's sitting here dealing with stuff and you sitting up here 
um, breaking her down. She needs your encouragement. She needs your help. She needs your motivation. She needs your support right now while she's going through this situation. This stuff is hard for us as it is. You know what I'm saying? And so for other military rights to just pound and pound and pound and break people down, come on now. You don't do that. It's other wives that go to the commander, that go to somebody higher up that will handle the situation. And then tell myself, well, why would you go do that? It will hurt you in the long run. It will hurt you in the long run. Well, if it hurt her in the long run, let her do it. Tell myself, if he get kicked out the army, then what? Then what? He can't get you nothing. He can't get a job. He can't get this. He can't get that. Well, he should have thought about that shit when he cheated on her. When he cheated on her, he should have thought about that ish. And that's all I got to say about it. Like, let me tell you, I had this one girl, our last was off. I'm sitting here asking, like, if people still like, if life still off? Like, what's, what's the problem? What's going on? People said, and this, this one girl tried me. Bitch, you tried the wrong one. She tried me. And I had told her, like, um, you know, I kept it cute. I kept it cute. Because my friend tested me, she was like, Nakia, she knows she tried to try you. Don't, don't stoop to her level. And the reason, the only reason why I don't stoop to other wives' level, like I need to and put my foot up their ass, is because of my husband. It will mess up my husband's job. And I will not put that in jeopardy. You can't do that. You have to, sometimes you just have to walk away from some situation. Because people, some military wives will take you there. They will take you there. They'll make you want to fucking... Tear they ass up, not they trachea, all the way to they vertebrae. Knock they trachea all the way to they ass. That will make you knock them in their throat. Because of how much stuff they talk. Not all military wives are like that, ladies. Not all military wives are like that. You have some that are very, very genuine and they are down to earth. But you have some that put you, they put you down here and they up here. Like, bitch, who made you queen? Like, nobody made them queen. So my thing is, do what makes you happy. And and other people that support you, let them be there for you. Don't go and try to talk to some of these military wives because sometimes their opinion is not the best opinion. And sometimes um, their opinion is. You have some wives that have been through that. So make sure you, should, you know, talk to somebody that has been through that and has more experience in this military life that has dealt with infidelity and all this kind of stuff in their marriage. Because a person that's been married... Um, ten, uh, lower than 10 years can't give you too, mu too much advice. I'm just going to let you know that now. They can't give you more advice. They just can't. I'm only married a year and a half and I can't give you a lot of advice about the military because I've been a military, sp military spouse a year. And I have. And that's it. So my thing is, y'all, keep your head up. Don't let nobody, um... This goes out to my military right. This goes out to women, period. Keep your head up. If a person's not supporting you or people, a group of people not supporting you, keep pushing. You don't need them in your life and trying to put you down and tell you what you should do, what you should, what you should not do, and all this kind of stuff. Yes, it's great to give your opinion, but be wise how you give it. It's a right and a wrong way to give out advice. If you give it out advice the wrong way, ain't nobody going to want to hear it. Ain't nobody going to take you serious. So make sure you give your advice out the right way. Because my thing is, that, that person that, that's trying to ask for your advice is not your friend. You don't know her in real life. So don't try to give your honest 100% opinion. Yes, I keep it real. Well, all my friends, if they come to me with a man situation, a man cheating, a man doing this, I always keep it real. Because you know why? I want somebody to keep it real for me. But just because I keep it real, I don't have to be rude when you keep You don't have to be rude to keep it real. Just keep that ish real and keep it pushing. And it's up to your friend whether she want to hear it or not. It's not up to you. You just there to be support. And I'm just saying to all the military wives, make sure that if you see a new military wife or a, a military wife that need a friend, make sure you be there for her. Make sure you be there for her and do not put her down. Because it's hard enough as it is for our men to have to leave and go on deployment and go on these um little things they have to do. It's already hard enough. So don't go putting her down. Don't go do that. Don't do that. That's whack as AF if you go do that. 
Keep it pushing. Love on your sister and tell her I got your back. I understand what you're going through because I have been through that before. I love you guys. And I want all of us military wives to support each other. You hear my dog, he's in the back whining, and he'll be all right. I want all of us to support each other. I want all of us to keep trucking and keep doing what we need to do. And all the military wives, please, please, please be there for a fellow military wife because it's hard as it is. It's hard. It is hard. And if you're not there for her and you always put her down, telling her what she should do, what she should not do, and talking to her reckless, then stuff will go left. And you don't want it to go left. You want it to go right. And that's what we all want. We want it to go right. So... I love you guys. That's probably why I ain't got that many military wife friends because I don't I don't need that in my life. I don't need no drama in my life. I need somebody. I, and that's probably why I don't post nothing on these uh, pages because of ish like that. People always want to gang up on you, gang up on you, and not be there for you. And nobody got time for that. But I love you guys, and I hope you stay tuned for the next video. Let me know how you feel about these military spouse rants in the comments below. You know, let me know if I'm right. Let me know if you agree or you disagree. Let me know. Let me know, especially if you're a military uh, spouse. I love you guys. Peace.